In modern kitchens, there are ingredients that may seem inconspicuous at first glance, yet spark heated debates. Seed oils are just such a case, they are said to be harmful, inflammatory, and can put strain on the heart. But how well-founded are these claims really, it's time to take a closer look at the evidence. Today, the topic of seed oils will be examined in more detail. The internet is full of opinions warning that these oils are toxic and bad for your health. But what's really behind it? This episode examines the origins of these claims, lays out scientific facts, and offers a way to actually reduce the risk of heart disease. But what are seed oils? And where do the concerns come from? Seed oils, as the name suggests, are oils extracted from seeds. These include, for example, soybeans, corn, and sunflowers. They have secured a permanent spot in the modern kitchen and in numerous processed foods. But why do they have such a bad reputation? Concern about seed oils did not happen overnight but has a history that goes back over 100 years. Originally, these oils were used for industrial purposes. Yes, they were used as lubricants for machines and even for making candles and soap. It wasn't until the early 20th century that a way was found to make these oils suitable for human consumption. And then comes the shift in nutrition. In the 1960s and 70s, a heated debate began about fat and heart disease. Health experts advised reducing consumption of saturated fats, such as butter and lard, as these could increase cholesterol and therefore increase the risk of heart disease. So they looked for alternatives and seed oils seem to be the perfect solution. They are rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids, which have been considered better for the heart. Seed oils found their way into margarine and many other processed foods. But did this lead to an imbalance in our diet? Let's explore the relationship between omega-3 and omega-6. Here comes the big controversy, the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fish, flax seeds, and walnuts are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. Omega-6 fatty acids on the other hand, such as linoleic acid, which is abundant in seed oils, can promote inflammation under certain conditions. If we consume too much omega-6 and too little omega-3, the theory goes, our body could enter a permanent state of inflammation. But is that really the case? What does science say? The evidence is, well, complex and sometimes contradictory. For instance, a randomized trial in obese people showed that a diet rich in omega-6 seed oils resulted in less liver fat and reduced levels of inflammation compared to a diet high in saturated fats. A 2017 meta-analysis that summarized 30 separate studies also found no connection between higher consumption of linoleic acid and inflammation. In fact, population-wide studies show that higher consumption of linoleic acid is associated with a reduced risk of diabetes and heart disease. So let's dive into cooking with seed oils. One of the biggest concerns surrounding seed oils is cooking at high temperatures. When oils are heated, harmful substances can be formed, especially when temperatures are above 200 degrees Celsius. But according to a meta-analysis from 2022, no harmful trans fats are formed at temperatures below 200 degrees Celsius. However, if heated over a longer period of time and at very high temperatures, harmful substances can certainly form. Particular attention should be paid to frying and deep frying, where temperatures are often very high. What is the real problem with seed oils in modern diets? The real problem with seed oils lies less with the oil itself, but with the way they are used in modern diets. Many of us consume seed oils in the form of processed foods, fast foods, and snacks, often prepared at very high temperatures. However, if we focus on a diet of whole foods, including fruits, vegetables, and lean meats, then including seed oils in our diet is not a problem and can even be beneficial. Okay, seed oils themselves are not the enemy. The real culprits are processed foods and an unbalanced diet. If we pay attention to a balanced diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids and incorporate seed oils in a healthy way into our everyday lives, we have nothing to fear. So, it's less about avoiding seed oils completely, but more about using them consciously and enjoying them in moderation. Thank you for your attention. If you were interested in this topic, you definitely shouldn't miss the next episode. It's all about health and healthy aging. As always, we wish you a healthy, long, and happy life. See you next time.